Corin's driving the upcoming Buick Verano to be launched uh, in the United States later this year and uh, out here in the windy hills uh, and the windy roads of Oregon uh, out near the coast and this is Winefoot's first time and first look in the Verano and I just wanted to point out some of the th stuff that they're doing with this compact four-door sedan. This car does feature the Buick's latest IntelliLink system which is a uh, main software interface between the entertainment system, some of the climate controls, and other driver information screens. And uh, if the car has the nav, then it would also incorporate with the navigation as well. Um, Bose really made a point to talk about their sound system integration in this particular vehicle. It's a 10 speaker sound system. Uh, sounds pretty good for the most part. I think most people will, will like it. Um, this car is going to start at under $24,000 and it, um, as you can see here, it's got a nicely laid out dash, uh, the typical Buick round gauges which are very cool, I like, I've always liked those, uh, it's a common type layout that we've seen in the LaCrosse, the Regal and now the Verano. I think Buick has really done a good job with that particular layout. I know it's, uh, like I said, you'll see it used throughout their product line, so I kind of like it. I do like the control system at the at the middle console. I think it's very easy to use and navigate for both the driver and the passenger. Uh, cleanly laid out, gives you full control over the audio climate and uh, that kind of stuff. So, kudos to them on that. As you can see, this particular model does feature the uh, keyless ignition system. There's the push button start there and uh, it has the remote of course uh, as part of the key fob. The fit and finish of this little car for under $24,000 starting point is actually pretty remarkable. The, the team did a great job choosing the color schemes. This one as you can see is the black interior. They have a couple more to choose from and uh, overall I'm really pleased with what they did here. I'll pan around to the back here and kind of get an idea. Yeah, it's got the um, reduced leg room that most compact sedans have. However, uh, I know there's been a number of car editors that have ridden in the backs of those cars today, and uh, all of them have complimented actually how comfortable the back seats are. And uh, overall, they did a pretty solid job there. I think when you take a look at the sub, the compact sedan market and what's currently available, I think that uh, Buick has really kind of defined a whole new price to luxury category uh, you know for its price bracket I think it really delivers uh, the type of legendary Buick quality quiet nice ride uh, ample power um, and I think it's I think it's gonna do very well for them so stay tuned we'll uh, to Winefoot we'll get a car later on this year hopefully and uh, get do a full review on it and get more info into it but at least for now I wanted to give you guys a quick peek of what the inside of these things are looking like